Hey, we're back from the gun range. Uh, two things to get ready for our bison hunt. One is to decide what rifle to take. Pretty much decided on a big bore lever. So this is a Winchester 71, built in 1955. It's a Winchester. And this, you're going to hear our kids are making some gingerbread house, so you'll hear a few of the sounds behind. This is a Winchester Model 95. It's a Japanese reproduction, but it's a very, very, very nice gun. So I took them out today. Uh, both of them are demonstrating very good accuracy. Uh, no problem at all with 200 yard shots with either of these guns. In fact, I took a 220 yard caribou this year with the 405. Uh, for bison, there's a 2800 foot pound minimum and a 180 grain minimum. So. For the 348, I'm trying 220 grain, um, what are those, Barnes Originals. I'm trying 250 grain, um, those are Woodlays. Hornaday, I'm trying 300 grain Hornaday Spitzers. Spitzers seem to open up a bit slower than the flat points. And I've also got some 300 grain um, Woodlays. And these are going into hard, hard uh, newspapers and catalogs. This is a very tough medium, but bison are also very tough. So this is a torture test. If, if you wet these, uh, the bullets tend to be a perfect mushroom. When you hit the hard catalogs, you often get bullet breakup. And when you hit animals, you often get bullet breakup. So my, my hope is that um, any uh, bullet that's successful here is going to be successful on a bison. I want to make sure I'm taking the right gun. So, here we go. The first layer was a phone book, Northwest Territories, or Northwest Territories Yukon phone book. And first we can see how quickly the bullets open up. This is the 220 grain, Barnes Original, 348. This is the 250 grain Woodley. And you can see similar, if anything, maybe the 220 is a little bigger. This is the 300 grain Hornaday. It's starting to open up, as is the 300 Woodley. So all of these bullets are showing this beginning of um, expansion. Um, and that's about three quarters of an inch penetration. We'll move into our layers here. And we'll take this layer. And that layer is at about four inches. So our four inch layer. Uh, we're starting to see the 220 grain barns really opening up. The 250 woodlay, not as much. The 300 uh, Hornaday Spitzer is making quite a hole. That uh, 300 woodlay, beautiful round hole. Big, it's about an inch diameter. So you're seeing a considerable amount more uh, a wound channel on the 405, especially with those Woodley bullets. That's actually quite impressive. So, I'm going to put down a 4 on that paper. That's at 4 inches. One of the things that's interesting about using hard catalogs is some of these catalogs really uh, take a lot out of the bullet. So you often have expansion where you often have the penetration isn't as great as you would think it would be. So now I'm going to layer five, five inches at five inches. Similar, and we've got, again, all the bullets continuing to penetrate at five inches. So we'll put that down as a five inches. At nine inches, the wood lay, 250 grain, 348 is the only bullet that's still going. So that's interesting to me. Keep moving on through here, and here we have it. <sighs> that was a very, very hard test. That's the 250 grand Woodley 348 bullet. <sighs> so I'm going to have to go back here and find these other bullets. Okay, I'll come back when I found them. 
Okay, here's my tools for doing all the figuring. And what did we find out? So, the least penetration was with the 405 Winchester 300 grain Hornaday Spire Point. And it was traveling at 2270 with 34 or 33 foot pounds. It uh, lost a lot of weight. So that only weighs 67.3 grains, that shed core, 22.4%. Went seven and a half inches into the into the hard paper. Expanded to fifty-eight by seventy. Probably would have been a little bigger with the core intact. And it lost its core in probably the last quarter of penetration. The uh, second second worst penetration was three forty-eight Winchester two twenty Barnes, going at twenty-four oh three. It's at twenty-eight twenty-two, which is uh, just over the. That's at about. 15 feet, so um, it's it's certainly over the max, but not by a whole lot or minimum, not not by a whole much for the for the uh, bison minimum. It weighed 86.3 grains, not including that little piece there, which is 39.2 uh, percent, and it went eight inches, uh, so maybe eight and a quarter. Hard to measure perfectly. This isn't perfect science. The 405 Winchester is the uh, second best penetration with the 300 wood lays at 2305. That gave me 3540 30, foot pounds, which is getting up there. It had a retained weight of 182.9 grains or 61%. And it weighed 8.5 inches, so not a whole lot more, but a little bit more. And it uh, went up to 71 by 85. So that's also our widest mushroom. The 348 Winchester with the 250 grain wood lay at 2248. That's 2806 foot pounds. Again, that's at about 15 feet, so it'll be a little more than that at the muzzle. So it again is up just across our minimum energy, but well, that's a nice bullet weight. It penetrated 9.5 inches, which is considerably more than the 300 wood lay. And, uh, it expanded to 56 by 85, so very similar, actually, final shape to the, oops, to that, to that, although it's a little more oblong, so pretty good. I don't know if I've actually decided what rifle I'm going to take. Uh, I'm, I'm leaning towards the 348 with 250 grain wood lace, but I'm also thinking about this great 405 with 300 grain, grain wood lace, because it's got quite a bit more energy um, for a big animal that might be helpful so leave your comments what would you take uh, both of them shoot very very well although I have to say the 405 300 woodlays are less accurate than the Hornaday's I can still get three inch groups at 100 yards these uh, 348 250 woodlays on the other hand are one of the best bullets just behind the 220 barns and they'll get uh, two inch groups uh, does that matter? Not much. So there you have it. Those are the two contenders. What do you think?